Hi, this is Claire again with the English version of the video. Here are my two little friends. I needed a little bit of cuteness. Uh, this day it's quite cold and I'm one of these persons who always tend to have cold hands. So uh, yes, I have these little cuties to keep me warm. Yes, and today we are looking at the Smith Wade in the borderless edition. So this means the cards have no borders. I have already shown it in some videos. Here you can see them. They have no borders, which is quite interesting, especially when you have more than one card on the table. So they, you can put them together and see uh, the colors changing, so to say. So for this week, we have quite um, different cards. So this is one group and this is the first card. And the first card is a Ten of Swords. And I know, uh, of course, uh, because of my experience, most people look at this card and they shy away from it. And when I was a beginner in tarot, I did this too. Of course, this does not look friendly in any way, but of, uh, I, I have um, gained experience. I'm with the cards for many, many years now. I don't want to say how many years because it sounds so old. <laughs> but I started around 1994, circa. So when I was about 13, now I'm 40, so can you, you can do your math. Uh, when I started with the, um, with the cards of my mother, and uh, I snatched them, snatched them away, sneaked them away. So I secretly took them away. This is what I want to say. And so everything started because I was so fascinated with the cards. And of course, the death card, the devil card and this card were the three cards I was afraid of, obviously. And with uh, my progression and learning in the cards and in a practical experience, I learned a lot about this card and the meaning of letting go. Yeah. So. This is a black sky and the person, it just don't can go on. There is nothing you can do about it. So uh, we say in German, there is the grass, uh, the grass isn't growing anymore. There. Yeah, it's like you cannot do it. It is barren. The situation is barren. So uh, yes, it is about letting go. It is about resigning somehow. So uh, <laughs> to be a little bit posh, <laughs> I had Latin in school. And um, yes, it was not so nice. <laughs> I didn't like Latin, but uh, it helps with uh, exploring some things because re-sign means to take back your sign, your signature, your um, I'm not putting my sign under this anymore. I take it away. So this is also the, the meaning of, um, of um, yes, letting go. Essentially, it's about letting go. And often when this card shows up, it is not so friendly at the first moment. We don't have to sugarcoat this, yes? But the second moment is like, oh, yes, you are, uh, your breath is going away from you and you are uh, relaxing. It's like breathing out. I think it's breathing out in English. So you are just breathing out and uh, yes, there is new free space. And often in life, I know this from my own life too, <laughs> I'm just a human. Uh, so this is, you are so much relieved when you are through the, through the pain uh, part of this card. You are really relieved and which is very important, you are, um, you are feeling new strengths. Because often in life, when you are doing things and you do them every day, <coughs> sorry or you are just used to it uh, to be the way it is then uh, you don't see anymore how much power you are putting in it and how much strength it takes from you and when you resign and when you uh, let go then this power comes back to you it was bound into these uh, like obligations for example and it is can be quite surprising how much power comes back and how much strength is there and you are just like whoa <laughs> what is happening here this is good so i'm feeling new energy in my life this is great uh, of course i don't want to sugarcoat yeah the first part can be hurtful and painful but most often people already know they have to let go when this card shows up it is very seldom from practical card reading it is very seldom that it's really like a person is shocked or uh, is like falling from the clouds as we see in Ger say in German uh, this is very seldom most often people already know this but they had not the the confidence or the last little bit of um, of wanting so to say to make this step 
yeah, there was like a little bit was missing and they just could not talk themselves into really let go. But now is a perfect moment, especially with these both cards besides. If this would be negative cards here, we had a whole different situation, but they are so positive. So this is the homework first to do, so to say. And then we, you can reap what you have sown with the sun and the sun card is about children it is about also mental children or projects or children in any way yeah it is about health it is about healing it is about warmth sun sunlight and um yes i don't know where you are looking this video but here in germany it's getting quite cold it's autumn it's rainy the sky is gray everything is ah, not so nice it's windy and the trees are slowly um the leaves are turning yellow and they are falling so it's uh, a time in the year where you love a little bit of warmth so this card can also mean get yourself cozy get on the couch with a with a blanket i think and uh, make it warm have a nice cup of tea read a book whatever gives you warmth yeah some people go to the sauna or um, whatever is warm for you yeah a warm bath tube everything that gives you this cozy feeling it's a card of coziness in this season especially maybe you are looking uh, watching this video from south america so it might be warm in your region and you think hmm, what is she talking about then of course we are uh, having a broader range of meanings then it is also about uh, just the warmth also of the heart of the soul it is very much about feeling to be in alignment with yourself it is like I'm following my true path now. Sometimes you are this child. It's not just about your children in any way. It is also about feeling like a child, free, reborn, innocent, um, looking forward, just not caring so much, not so much burdens. Yeah, it's, oh, here I am. And you know, children, they can switch from one moment to the other. And then they have this free and... Um, having a clear look at life yeah the beginner spirit as we know it from zen buddhism for example this is like this free uh, look at life and this gives you the passion and passion is something we will see here too uh, and the, the warmth and um yes it's, it's an inner feeling of coziness somehow yeah it's freedom but uh, the, the uh, red flag here is very active very strong energy and here's also a red feather so uh, it's very full of energy positive energy it's not too much energy it's just the right amount but the child is also naked so this means freedom this is being your true self you wear no mask yeah you can really be yourself so this is a wonderful positive card in any area of life yeah and it goes on with the sunflowers we have them here there is a close connection she is the element of fire the queen of wands uh, we have this little kitty here we have uh, cats are traditional fire animals in european lore so they were often seen as the animal that is next to the smiths which was also uh, with many magical customs and everything and many superstitions around smiths in the past so this was a magical animal just because of the connection to smiths and uh, yes but besides of that we have the queen of wands the queen of fire she is uh, the fiery emotion in us so it, it can of course always have two meanings it can be a person that incorporates this feeling so this is a woman she is someone you can steal horses with as we say in german so this is very positive uh, this uh, this expression it means uh, you can totally trust her she is someone to have fun with and also fun you are not telling everybody about so it's really someone close to your heart and it's also a woman who is uh, creative and as always with the elements uh, they have a broad spectrum yeah often the cards especially the person cards are seen as a kind of cliche and of course they are cliches somehow but it can have broad expression so it is like a line of fire with the wands and she could be on this end which would mean she is very choleric and a person who's always over the top and very very demanding in a way but on the other of them on the more um, on the more quieter uh, side of the element of fire she could also be just a warm-hearted person so, so she is channeling the element of fire in a very Yes, cozy way we are again with the sun. Someone who is really comforting you and who has a warm heart, who is warm-hearted. 
Yeah. So this can be a person in your life, but it can also be your inner woman. And this is also for men when you are a man and looking or watching at this video. <coughs> Sorry, children's germs are really the hardest. <laughs> so um, yes, when you um, when you are a man, this also applies to your inner woman. The female aspect, uh, in comparison to the kings, is more about really building a foundation. And it's the men are, or the queens are a little bit more doing and going out and all of this stuff. She's also about doing, but she first has a foundation. This is an element, it's more the yin energy if you want to compare it in Asian, uh, in Asian words. So it's, um, she is about having a foundation and really building it up. Yeah, and this is the element of fire. It means also your creativity, your inner spark, your divine inner spark, however you want to call it. It is about um, doing what you really like, doing what you ignites your fire. Yeah, so uh, this can be like cooking, for example. It can be drawing, writing, dancing in the streets, whatever, and listening to your favorite music. It can be so much. It is uh, nothing you have to show to the world. Yeah, because much of our creativity is inhibited by being, um, how you say in English, not being seen. Being seen is not so bad, but being judged. Yes, I mean being judged. Yeah, we all know this from school. There the judgment starts. We have to show, show our work and we will get a, get a judgment, so to say. Um, and later, and especially now, in the, uh, in the time of social networks and all of this, it is also about being judged every time. Oh, is my Insta new Insta photo? Is this good enough? How many likes do I have? All of this stuff. This is nothing about creativity. Creativity is a human. Uh, it's a human force. It is something that is inherited to us. Yeah. When I was uh, not long ago, I was in an, in a museum where it was about the Stone Age and all of this. And you might know the uh, disc of Nebra, the famous disc of Nebra. Uh, so I was in Halle in the museum who is showing this disc. And there is also much about Stone Age until the Roman Empire, so to say the Germans, the Germanic people, so to say, about the Germans, so to say, and all of them. And there is, uh, when you go through this exhibition, there is so much creati creativity, there is so much learning, there is so much advancing and everything in the tools people were using, in the cultural things and all of that. And it's just uh, something I also bring into this card somehow, because it is human to create. Creativity is not uh, just something for people kissed from the divine, so to say. It is not just something that is allowed to people who can do it beautifully or something like that. Yeah, it is inherited. It is our birthright, so to say, to be creative. and. When this card shows up, you don't have to show anybody your results, yeah? Or you can eat them up with your partner or something like that if it's cooking. So it is not about this, um, this part of being judged. It is about living your inner fire. And whatever you like, some people like to, uh, to um, how you say, to, to, to work around with their cars or something like that. Um, mechanical things so to say some people like to draw to paint to to write down to journal whatever uh, taking photos or um, yes whatever you like whatever is creative gardening if you have a garden or if you like plants at all <laughs> so to say uh, making your home beautiful um, yes going out dancing or whatever you like yes own your creativity do it and you can have it to yourself. You don't have to let anyone judge it because it is really a process to free yourself of judging voices also into your head, the inner judge. Yeah. So uh, this is something we also have inside of ourselves, and it really takes time to liberate this. I'm talking from personal experience. It really takes time and maybe it's a lifelong process, but it's really worth it. Yeah. So own your creativity in any way it shows itself. Yeah. So when we put these cards together, it is about letting go first, making space for these two here. Uh, yes, letting go. Sometimes the grass just isn't growing anymore, to say it in German words. <laughs> so uh, you cannot do something about it. A barren field is a barren field, so 
don't put yourself into it again and again in the hope of growing something there. It won't grow. Let go and make space for all the beautiful things that will come. Yeah, here we have the sun, the card of health, uh, the sun shining in your life, the proverbial sun, um, having fun, being lighthearted, being this innocent naked child. Um, Yes, being free and having fun and let your spirit shine through and care good in a good way for your children in any way. Uh, so it can be also creative children and live your inner spark, your divine spark, your inner witch somehow. Yes, she's free like a witch. Uh, so do it. Go for it. Don't let anybody judge you. Just have your fun and you don't have to show it anybody if you're not comfortable with it. And if you're comfortable with it, show it to the world. Yeah, but uh, don't let this uh, inhibit you in any way. Do as you please. Yes, this is really a week of pleasure. Yes, first there is some homework to do, but then the pleasure follows. So these are the cards for this week and we will see each other next week again.